One, two, one, two, three, four. Hey guys, it's Danielle. Long time, no see. I know it's been forever since I filmed the video, but I am here, I am back, and I am trying again. <laughs> oh, today I am going to be showing you guys my current summer favorites. Um, essentially the past maybe three months, so May, June, and now starting July. I don't tend to change many things up, at least particularly during the school year because I'm broke. So I feel like now because I have a couple new things and there are certain things that really stand out to me that I use more often than I used to. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so first category I'm going to be making up is makeup. Let's start off with face, shall we? I do apologize for the wind. I really hope that you can hear me. So because it's summertime, if I'm going to wear a foundation, I like to wear something that's a little more lighter weight um, because a full face, like super thick, full coverage foundation gets a little gross, I find. Um, and I can't afford foundations that don't get gross that are full coverage. So um, right now the one I'm using is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Foundation. It looks like this if you haven't seen it before. And I am in number 102 light nude. I've been really liking this foundation because it's a medium coverage. Full coverage gets so gross in the summertime, especially since you're sweating and it's hot and we're in a heat wave right now. It's 45 degrees Celsius here and it's been like that for the past two weeks. So I definitely haven't been wearing as much makeup as I normally would. Um, but yeah, so this one I've really been liking. Now moving on to our highlighter. Uh, this is something that I got for Christmas actually and I haven't really started using it until now because now I'm a little more tanned so I feel like it suits my skin tone better because uh, this has more of a gold kind of undertone to it. Sephora Micro Smooth Illuminator Baked Luminizer. Uh, this one's in Light Beam 02. It looks a little something like this. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it has these like it kind of is a little more white um, in regards to the base. It has like a peachy undertone, but uh, the sparkle in it is so pretty. It's like a gold sparkle, and I'll make sure to do a close-up of it afterward um, on camera so that you guys can see. Um, so I'll insert that clip right here. And yeah, so I've been really liking it just in the cheekbones on the top of my nose. I've been using it on my eyes actually as well. Uh, it's just so nice and because it's goldy, I like it for summer. I've been putting it on my shoulders whenever I'm out in the sun. So I feel like I'm sparkling and glowing everywhere. I love it. And now a relatively controversial palette, but I found it at TJ Maxx for super cheap, so I was like, let's get it, let's try it out. And because it's summertime, I find the color palette is actually perfect. I love it. Um, that is the Subculture Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really like it, even though I know there was a lot of controversy surrounding it, and I'm definitely late to the game when it comes to this. And I do agree, the fallout is wild. But aside from the fallout, the colors are beautiful. I particularly like All Star. And other than that, I've been using a New Wave a lot, New Wave and Edge. Um, just kind of your more warm toned colors. Any of the purples in here are great. So honestly, color palette wise, this is great for myself. Um, and I've been really liking the blue uh, to have a little fun with. I've been putting it on the um, just underneath my eye, super close and tight to the waterline. Um, just to give a little extra definition. I went to a wedding recently and that's what I used and it looked so pretty. I absolutely loved it. And finally, which I never thought that I would have another favorite mascara solely because I'm either super true to the Lancome, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? It was in my favorites last year, can't remember. Anyway, um, Lancome mascara or the L'Oreal Paris Butterfly. Butterfly is like my holy grail, I absolutely love it, but because mine was drying out, I have actually gone through two in the past like month. So I figured let's try to get a new one, let's see, and let's try L'Oreal still, just because it is a brand that I do really like for mascaras, so let's see if there's something else that I like. 
so I got the voluminous waterproof feline mascara which is like this it's the green package and it has um, little cheetah prints just up here and I really like this one the wands like this kind of thick um, but the bristles a little wider apart and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it as much because it didn't have that tapered end to put more product on the outside but overall I actually do prefer it because my lashes get really long right in the middle and so this like covers them and coats them and if anything I feel like my lashes are longer and more full and more separated I feel like I don't know I just like it a lot and I would highly highly recommend it and if you're wondering why I have a band-aid on my finger it's because my skin's been being weird so that's why that's there if you're wondering like what the heck's on her hand and moving on to clothes something that I think is obviously a staple for anyone's wardrobe but particularly because one um, like onesies are in when it comes to clothes is a one piece bathing suit and the one piece that I've been loving is this one piece here it says Calvin on the front it's all black to the bottom and then if you go to the back, there's a crisscrossing here. So it crisscrosses up close to your shoulders and then it has an open back down to your lower back. I really like this. It has a um, little bit of padding inside, not in the sense of like push up by any means, but it has thicker padding, which I much prefer um, because I find some bathing suits that are one pieces typically don't have any type of padding in them. And I find I have to wear like another top underneath or something because otherwise it's see through, which is not ideal. Um, but this one actually as well, not only has padding, but inside it has a second um, layer, kind of like, rem remember whenever you were in elementary school and you had those uh, tank tops that had the double layering in them? So it was like a mini bra inside. That's kind of how they have set this one up, which I really, really love. Um, and it feels super good quality. I mean, it is a, d it's a decent brand, so I would hope it's good quality. Um, but I've been really loving that. And it fits like a, Bay a like, remember Baywatch? how those bathing suits just fit really, really well. This one fits really well. It doesn't go up super high, because I know that's very trendy right now, but I personally am not a huge fan of that, because where I feel most confident is not just above my, like, I don't know, bikini line. I don't know if that makes sense. But you know how they're all, like, going up to here, it feels like, anymore with all the cuts? This one just fits like normal. It's like a normal bikini bottom at the bottom, and then just fits you nice, and you know? But yeah. Really love that, the fit's great. I really love these, they fit awesome. And they're Steve Madden, which I mean, hate to be that kind of person, but brands are kind of nice when you can find them. <laughs> and the heel isn't wild, like it isn't too, too high. And it isn't too thin either, so they're pretty easy to walk in. I love these. Um, and one of the last items that I'm gonna talk about is this bag. I got it from a friend of mine. She gave it to me for my birthday. And I'm sure if you guys haven't seen, go look at my week three, week two or three uh, vlog for Christmas this past year on my birthday. My friend Victoria got me this and I'm totally obsessed with it. It's suede and it's from Guess and it's a teeny tiny backpack. So it's so cute, I love it. And then the, actually the detailing on it is also this kind of maroon shade, which I think looks so nice. Like, um, the color of jean and the color of black and white and that kind of thing. So all the neutral tones that I tend to wear, I feel like it looks really nice with. Like, it doesn't stand out a whole lot, but there is a kind of some interest there. And then the gold de detailing, in, or sorry, the silver detailing <laughs> is beautiful. I love this bag. And now finally, uh, something that I've been totally into um, this summer are sunglasses. These are my top two, I think, right now. Um, so the first pair, which are a pair that I've been kind of, I've been looking for another pair of sunglasses that are metallic um, and reflective because I love these. I think they're so cute. Look at that, so fun. And no one can tell if you're staring at them because they're just looking right back at themselves. And I feel like glasses look so much cuter on the base of your nose. Does anyone else feel that way? <laughs> Anyway, love these. I got them from our Deans, believe it or not. They were like, I don't know, five bucks, if that. Love them, they're so cute. And depending on the lighting, they have like a pinky hue to them. You can't really see on camera, they look more golden. But they're kind of golden, pinky, it depends on which light you're in, but they're so cute. And then the ones I've been wearing a lot, actually, the past couple days are these ones. 
and they are purple and so it literally it makes you look through a filter everywhere you're going everything looks vibrant and beautiful I feel like my Coachella every day of my life because it's so pretty looking through these glasses all the time um, but I really have been loving these not that they give you a whole bunch of protection I mean they're basically see-through but uh, I was looking for them specifically because my school obviously is or well, not obviously my school's theme is purple and I'm planning on dyeing my hair purple again coming this August uh, so having kind of purpley sunglasses that are more on the fashion side more than the actual practicality side uh, I think are really cute and I also found these at Ardeen's and I like how it's silver because I find so many glasses right now are gold which is fine but I like to wear silver jewelry, my watch is silver, all that, so it's nice to have some sunglasses that actually matches that whole theme. Uh, so I'm super pumped for homecoming to wear these glasses with a pair of like shorts, white top, so cute, so excited. And yeah, I think I'm going to wear these for the end of the video too. Uh, yeah guys, so that is all my favorites thus far for this summer. I really hope you liked watching it. And please comment down below on some things that you'd like to see next because I, for some reason, have had a total creative block and I've been trying to think of things to post and I have literally no ideas for some reason, but I love filming for you guys. So please leave some comments down below on what you'd like to see next. And other than that, I will hope to see you soon uh, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>